Hi, my name is Thomas Terigen. I'm product manager at Cascade Microtech. I'd like to show you today how easy it is to set up a 325 GHz sub terahertz on wafer measurement on a manual probe platform. Here is the EPS 200 mm wave probe platform, which we will use now for such a probe setup. This platform enables various broadband and banded millimeter wave application setups by using different integration kits. We have chosen this platform as it allows for quick and fast movement between the calibration area and the main wafer area, in combination with an overlaid true submicron chuck positioning. Also the rock solid vibration and drift free setup is essential for good millimeter wave measurements. For this purpose, the platen has several mount points for various integration solutions. Today we will use the so-called sub terahertz sigma kit for our setup. Basically, such a sigma kit is the glue between the probe station and the measurement instrumentation integration. As we want the shortest possible waveguide lengths at such high frequencies, the sub terahertz kit contains a chuck razor which brings the chuck very close to the millimeter wave modules. The modules will be mounted to platforms which are like a forklift mounted to a heavy duty high precision positioner and enable X, Y, C and theta movements. Racing blocks for the optional north and south positioner platforms are also included. We will start with mounting the chuck razor under the chuck. The stage offers a very easy bayonet system for this, so no tools are needed to mount it. Finally connect the vacuum tubes for the main and auxiliary chuck vacuum. That was easy. As the chuck has raised significantly, we also need to raise the scope. This is easy as the scope adapter allows for a simple, tool-free adjustment to the raised position. For biasing in north and south position, I mount the optional platforms to the platen by using the raising blocks. Next we mount the module platforms. For this we simply need to identify the terahertz marked area on the probe platen and put the feet of the positioner platform assembly to this location and bolt it down. So, same procedure on the other side. Now it's time to mount the millimeter wave modules to the platform. It just simply requires the loosening of four screws and fit it in. We first need to mount the probes before moving the modules into final position, so we do not need to fix them yet. Before we start mounting and positioning the sensitive probes, we set up the provided crash protector. It fits easily and quickly into the objective mount of the microscope. I adjusted the protector according to the user guide in accordance with the module and probes used. Now the modules cannot be moved close enough to each other to crash the probes. Now we mount the probes by using very short S-bands, which just drop the probe below the module bottom.
Next, we pre-positioning the probes close to each other. I make sure that the platform positioner is at its backmost position. And now move the modules from both sides against the crash protector and fix them in this position. Now I remove the crash protector in the same way I installed it. Next, I move the probes into the field of view of the microscope. I use the lowest scope magnification and the eyepieces for maximum field of view. I start with the right one. Now I ensure the left one is in a similar height and also bring it to the center. Now I add the optional north and south biasing probes with their positioners. After placing the calibration substrate to its auxiliary chuck, it's now time to load a wafer. For this, I simply move the chuck down to load position and move the stage to the front. You can move each axis separately by pressing the related button. Let's do the first touchdown. After you have moved the probes both in the field of view of the microscope and focused the surface of the substrate, you slowly move down both probes with a C micrometer at the positioners until you see them slightly touching the surface, which typically is seen as a slight forward movement. Stop at this moment. Now turn the dial of the contact height gauge to zero. And then use the platen movement mechanism to set the over travel for all touchdown probes to the desired value. Perfect. We made contact. Whenever you want to move to a different location, just turn the platen movement up into separation and then move to the next location and bring it back to the contact position. The precision of the probe station ensures that any contact has the same over travel and therefore the same repeatable contact performance. We now have set up the system for 325 GHz probing. Check out our other videos about the details on how to execute the calibration and probing procedure. See you next time.